The Air Soccer Rifle has been the genesis of much FUD lore across the gun show table over the decades, some that I've inadvertently spread in previous videos over the years. From last ditch rifles blowing up, to why the chrysanthemum or mum was ground off many rifles. Thanks to one of the small articles in the notes section of the most recent Armax journal by Patrick Phillips entitled, The Missing Mum Mystery Solved, there are finally definitive answers as to why or why not your air soccer rifle still retains its mum. Now, the Imperial Chrysanthemum was the official seal applied to what was considered the Emperor's or the government's property. As far back as the beginning of the Meiji Restoration in 1868, the Imperial household would get issue guidance as to the use of the stamp. This included that commercial goods were forbidden to display the seal, and government property with the seal was not, not fall into civilian hands. It would be up to Japanese police to enforce these guidelines. This would apply to firearms produced by the Japanese, starting with the Type 13 Murata, to the last of the last ditch Type 99 rifles. Up until surrender of September of 1945, the Emperor would be viewed as almost a demigod. This has led to many narratives as to reasons why many rifles in the collector's realm were missing the mum. There's the widespread belief that the mum was removed to help the Emperor, quote, save face, which can be found in Duncan McCollum's book although he admits that there's a lack of documentation for this. Others have claimed that defacing was ordered by MacArthur to spite or show up Hirohito. This is one that I personally haven't heard before, but I may not have run into that special breed of FUD that would push this myth. It would have been counterproductive for MacArthur to show up the Emperor, and his actions post-war demonstrate that this myth is total idiocy. The United States not insisting on the removal of the Emperor, only that he would lose his deified status, was a big reason to why the rebuild went fairly well. The whole catch more flies with honey than vinegar mentality. MacArthur also demonstrated respect for the Emperor as he wanted the Japanese to govern themselves under American guidance as they rebuilt. He needed the Emperor to help keep the country from falling into anarchy, which may make for a prime target for the Soviets to want to butt in. Another hypothesis proposed by Bill Harriman in his Osprey booklet was that almost all defacing was done by the end user. I know I have said in the past videos that if your rifle has a mum, it was a battlefield pickup. If it's been scratched through, it was a battlefield surrender done by the surrendering soldier. And if it's completely ground off, it was done after the war prior to being shipped to the US. Now with the exception of MacArthur showing up the Emperor, there are some nuggets of truth to the other theories, but without actual documentation, the whole truth wasn't really known and marred by FUD lore for three quarters of a century. Thanks to the recent discovery of Decree Number 1147, the truth seems to be simpler than any of these theories. As stated earlier, the Imperial family would issue guidance as to how the chrysanthemum could be used, and it was up to police to enforce these decrees. In March 1914, the chief of Hiroshima Police Department took note of and complained that the military rifles with the chrysanthemums were ending up in civilian hands. In April, the Japanese Ordnance Bureau would issue Military Defense Decree Number 1147 stating that rifles that left military arsenals, whether sold to civilians or scrapped, would need to have the Imperial Chrysanthemum removed or have the stamping placed over it. Hence the circles you see over the mum on training rifles with the symbol meaning education placed beneath the circled out mum. This means mum removal or defacement was standard practice for over 30 years prior to the Japanese surrender in World War II. They were merely following the law. This also means that defacing the mum was a purely Japanese initiative. Now there are cases of Americans removing the mum after surrender. There was likely some belief that this was the only way the Japanese would peacefully surrender the items. And there might have been a monkey see, monkey do aspect as well. There are also anecdotal stories of soldiers or sailors either mailing the rifles home or storing them in ship's lockers to send home that initially had an intact, intact mum, only to find their rifles with the mum completely ground off when they received their rifles in the United States. In any case, there was no director from on high on the American side to remove the symbol. Now while your rifle with the intact mum may have been a battlefield pickup, the existence of this decree makes that somewhat less likely. The Japanese Imperial General Headquarters would be disbanded in September 1945, meaning that any decree issued by them would be void after that disbandment. This means that defacement of the mum would no longer be law, 
and as you get further away from surrender, defacement becomes less likely. This is also why many older rifles, such as the Murata, would make it to the U.S. with their mum intact. As the U.S. had disarmed the Japanese military, modern rifles such as the Type 99 and Type 38 would go first, while older rifles held in reserve would likely be disposed of later, and well after the decree was no longer in effect. Now if you want to see a cool Arasaka that never had a mum that I own, click over here. Otherwise, please join the GOA and get a discount with my link below. Thank you for watching and as always, have a great day.